let's talk about the functions that PHP file. And this file is really, really important if you are developing teams. The functions that PHP file will hold everything or all the functions related to your team. For example, if you add a custom menu, you have to add the code in the functions that PHP. If you want to add some image size for your team, you have to add the code in the functions that PHP. If you want to add some style sheet or JavaScript file, you have to also add the code in the functions that PHP. So let's create this file. It's really, really simple. We have to add a new file called functions.php and WordPress will scan everything and find this file. We don't have to add anything else. You can see, for example, here we have the, the Toronto Online WP. We have the, well, the author name. We have the description. And everything is here in the style.css. If I add some style right here, for example, the body and add a background color and the color is red and let's say and reload, you can see that nothing is working. WordPress is taking this info, but it isn't picking this stash that we have here. So let's see how we can add this stash sheet to our team. And the way that you add it is using the functions.php. So let's create a PHP block and I'm going to add a function and you have, you can name your function, whatever you want. I'm going to name it mine Toronto online scripts. And inside this function, I'm going to add another function that WordPress provide to add this style. And this one is called WP in Q style. First parameter is the name. So I'm going to add a style, then add a comma. And next you have to add the the directory URI where this file is placed. So let's add get style sheet URI. And let's add the semicolon at the end. Next, you have to add a place where this function is going to be executed. And these are called actions and hooks in WordPress. So this is where you want to execute this function. And the syntax is really, really simple. You don't have to worry. It sounds worse than what it is. So let's add that action. First parameter is where you want to hook this function. And this, and this hook is, this action is called WP in Q scripts. Then we add a comma and then we have to add this function name. And this is really, really simple. For example, if I save and reload, nothing is working. And we have, because we have to add another function in where this function is living, for example. And since we're working with WordPress and we're using the modular way that WordPress provide, we only add this function in one place. And this place is the header.php. And you only have to add this code only once. So let's add wp head and let's save and reload and let's add the background color and sorry is body background color red and let's save and reload now you can see that it's working now we're ready to start writing some styles in our team and this is the way that you add it just by using this function and the WP, WP and Q scripts and WP and Q styles. If it isn't very clear at the moment, you don't have to worry. We're going to add more files in these functions. And we're going to add more functions to these functions that PHP, functions that WordPress provides. And since you don't have to worry for anything.